Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some office outfit ideas. Starting with the first look, which for me is kind of a smart casual one. Someone that you could wear to the office, but also on the weekend. And for me, this look all bases around the shoes. And I think these shoes just make it that little bit more office appropriate. But this blouse is the perfect work blouse. It's also the perfect casual blouse. It's very silky and it's very comfortable to wear. I personally love pairing a very simple outfit like this with gold accents and gold jewellery. I think it really just makes that outfit a little bit more special and more unique to your own personal style. I paired the look with a very simple pair of navy trousers from Arquette. These are very comfortable. I do believe that this outfit is kind of the perfect workwear formula which is a very simple classic cut blouse paired with a pair of tailored trousers and I think that's a really easy outfit to throw together for work. Moving on to more traditional work attire but making it that much more current. So I'm wearing a very comfortable suit from Zara. I find this suit so relaxed, it's very easy to wear, the fabric is amazing, it doesn't feel too stiff, it doesn't feel too structured. I love the colour of this, I love my neutrals and I think that this suit is perfect to wear because one, you can wear it as a full suit but you can also wear it as separates and wear very nice simple blouse with these trousers or vice versa. With this look and with all looks in this video, it completely depends on your dress code and what you're able to wear at work. I have paired this look with trainers because they're the most comfortable to commute in, but depending on what you're able to wear, you can just swap these pieces out and just make it a little bit more formal or appropriate and tailored for your work dress code. Cozy and comfortable, which is my two favourite words and two of my most important when it comes to dressing. And this jumper is from Arquette. Guys, it is massive. It's absolutely massive. I really had to reiterate that here. And it's just so comfortable to wear. It is the perfect workwear jumper. I think it's perfect with a pair of trousers. And if you want to switch it up and if this jumper is very big on you, it looks great when you pair it with heels because it just gives you that much more lift and it doesn't drown you as much as it would if you were wearing flats. This outfit has been something that I have worn to offices for so many years because it's just so fail proof. I always feel comfortable when I wear it. It's great in winter when the air conditioning is still on but it's also perfect just like in spring or autumn. Here I've paired it with a pair of Gucci loafers because these are the most comfortable shoes that I own genuinely and they're just perfect to walk around in so it's great for a commute. I think print is a great way to stop yourself from getting in a workwear rut and incorporate some fun into your outfits. Of course I'm a neutral girl but I do love a checkered print and I think that this pair of trousers from H&M is just a really great pair of office trousers. I saw this look with a very flowy trench coat from Zara. What I love about this outfit personally is just how flowy it is. It just makes it look so much more relaxed. It doesn't feel too corporate or too stiff. And I think that that is really key. And I think this trench coat just makes it a little bit more me. I think it makes it a little bit more sophisticated and it just kind of ties the whole look together in my opinion. The bag I've styled it with here is obviously not very practical for work but I just really love the tone of this bag so I thought it would be the perfect one to complement this outfit but again everything can be tailored to the office dress code so yeah just just have fun with your outfits and just incorporate it into your own style. Do you believe that tailoring is key and it is the cheap way to just make your outfit just look that much more office appropriate or more formal? The trousers I'm wearing here has this amazing belt detail so it really cinches in your waist, it tapers down, it just looks very structured but it's also linen so it's great in summer but it's also thick enough to still wear in autumn and winter so it's just one of those very versatile outfits and I think that's really important when it comes to workwear is having pieces that you can interchange and wear with different things so then you can get lots of wear out of your pieces and you don't have a set of pieces that are just 
there for work and you can wear it casually as well. I've styled this with just a simple white blouse, like I said, it's the perfect formula, it's very feel proof. But I have styled this look with a pair of sandals here, which obviously wouldn't be my first choice for an office situation, but you can just swap that for a court heel. I didn't have a new pair of court heels to hand, so I had to opt for this one. So this outfit is for that day when you have just a little bit more time in the morning and this is an outfit combination that I really like to put together. I think it just looks a little bit more put together, you feel a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more feminine but I really like pairing a oversized blazer with a really feminine skirt. The skirt is from H&M, it's in a knitted material so it's really nice and soft and comfortable to wear. And then pairing it with this blazer from Zara that I have been wearing previously in this video because it's just so soft, it's very comfortable and it's structured without being stiff so it's just like the perfect office blazer. This outfit again is one that I think you could also wear casually, maybe with some trainers um, or maybe taking the blazer off and then you can go out in the evening for something a little bit more formal. It's just a very versatile look. And there are some of my outfit ideas, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, I always love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But in the meantime, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.